a very warm welcome to all those who are watching this video. In this video, we are going to talk about summarized written text. This is part of the PTE writing exam. And this video will give you a good idea about how to score good marks in such question types. Let's look at the organization of the questions first. So the summarized written text and to write an essay, they both are part of the writing part. And uh, uh, you usually get uh, two to three such summarized written text and you have uh, uh, 20 minutes in total to write such questions. Um, so you are supposed to read a passage, something like this, which you can see on the screen. And you need to summarize this in a one single sentence. Now this is where the complexity of the question arises, that it's a 200 to 300 word passage and which you need to summarize this in your own words. Uh, within 10 minutes, you can see the timer on the right side and the total word count of one that sentence should not go beyond 75 words and it should not be less than 5 words. So within the time frame, you need to write this one complete sentence. You may think that you have enough time in such question types but actually it is not. To make a summarized statement covering all the major topics or at least the main central theme of the passage is not very easy. From the scoring point of view, uh, there is of course the major uh, scoring, the number one is the content, what you are going to write. If you are going to write a perfect sentence with all the relevant aspects from the passage, you'll get two, otherwise one or zero. The form is simple to understand. It should be a one complete sentence starting from the capital letter and ending in a full stop. You can use other punctuations in between. It should not go beyond 75 words, otherwise you will not get any score. Uh, about grammar and vocabulary, uh, you should be making use of uh, a correct gram grammatical structure and uh, vocabulary also you may be using something from the passage as well we'll use some keywords from the passage itself to frame that one sentence but incorrect vocabulary will actually result in deduction of marks okay so there are some crucial points which we need to be taking care of to do such kind of questions so the time is limited 10 minutes we have to summarize this text in one single sentence and the overall idea of the passage should be expressed in that single sentence there are some uh, tips which can help you in getting good marks here so uh, your task is to have one big complex sentence formation one full stop you can use proper punctuations in between of course, this is just one sentence. It is not possible for you to include all and everything what was written in the passage to include in that one sentence. So just one central theme or the basic idea, what is the whole passage about is what you need. Do try to include at least four to five keywords from that passage, which are very important, which actually will help you frame your, the sentence of yours. Uh, try to smart to be smart and use a lot of connectors, conjectures to to add length to your sentence. Okay, uh, uh, for example, if if you talk about uh, adding length and adding more conjunctions, you can use proper uh, use of conjunction as well as pronouns. Something in like this. For example, if we talked about legal rights, then after comma we can always go back to the same. You know, we can go back and refer to the same thing, which have a fire far higher impact so we know which have actually the, the the speaker is talking about the legal rights okay similarly we can make use of a lot of conjunctions something like and which act as a connector of two separate sentences come together and it will result in one big sentence so we have a, a, a trick which you may be aware of this is something which we call as these are our fanboys these are our connectors which we use and which add length to our sentences fanboys stand for for and nor but or yet and so so for for example uh, studying while working is difficult but the rewards will pay off later so by use of but we extended the length we joined actually the two different sentences all together so we can make use of this. Now let's look at one such example and see how actually to do this. Uh, 
So for example, this is a, a passage which talks about tea, which is being consumed in the whole world and um, uh, major countries where it is there and tea requires particular climate and geographical features and um, tea uh, there could be different types of teas and it has now become a social drink so the idea is the first step is to highlight the keywords here at least five to six keywords you should remember so if i look at this i can find out that tea is popular popular tea it's key export product it has its it requires its own climate rainfall temperature geographical features or what it needs and then there is a huge demand for high quality tea and now tea has become a social thing so you highlighted this these key points and the next stage is to use these key words and frame them into one complete sentence make sure of no grammar mistakes spelling or vocabulary mistakes so uh, it should not take more than five minutes because uh, you need some more time to revise and check and recheck your the sentence you have formed so let, let's see if we are using these key statements keywords into a statement it will look something like this this is a simple answer t is a popular product as well as key export product it requires tropical climate and specific geographical features to grow into high quality teas due to its high demand tea has become a social drink so a, a answer like this will give you good score in your pt writing exam so keep watching more such videos and uh, i wish you all the best for your next exam